Hey guys, Kyle the Death Knight of Anime here. As you can see, I'm in a new place again. Um, I'm dealing with some bullshit with in terms of my, in terms of the renovations at my home. So in terms of the renovations extensions to what's going on with my house. So yeah, I had to move back in here because I had no power there. So, but uh, yeah, I'm here to bring you guys. But yeah, status aside, I'm here to bring you guys the uh, the review for One Piece chapter eight seventy seven and. Uh, we got a death in this chapter, yeah. Apparently Pedro died. And to be honest, looking back on this whole arc, even though there was a lot of death eggs being raised, like Jinbei, like Jinbei, Pedro of course, and all all these other characters, all these other characters, like Jinbei, Pedro, the, the Vinsmokes, the, I know there's a lot of these, like, all these death eggs being thrown around, but looking back... I guess it makes sense that in the end Pedro would would, would would be the one to would be the one to, in order to take the death flag because, like I said, w looking back when when you when you saw what happened when you heard about what happened to his crew and how Big Mom killed them, I guess in a way it makes sense that uh, that, of course, that of course Pedro would, would be the one to would be the one to take the L because because hey it's. It's symbolic of now that he's dead, he can he can he can he can he can, he, 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 can, he, can, he can now die in peace and, and, and join his and join his crew in the afterlife. So yeah, I guess looking back, uh, I guess Pedro's, I guess the death flag on Pedro was of course the most most obvious one, and I I, I, I really can't be I really can't be mad at at Oda for for of course doing a whole fall through on on having Pedro be, being the one to die in the end. So yeah, it was. It was definitely one of those things where, looking back, it was definitely an expected, an expected death for sure. Although, it does make me wonder if the Vince folks are going to get out of this alive or not. Guess we'll have to see. Uh, but, but yeah, Pedro, Pedro, you you went out like a true man, dude, and I, I salute you, man. Go ahead and see your crew in the afterlife, dude. Uh, but yeah, like, and and he was, and he and he died, and he died, and he died by blowing himself up like, in order to kill. I think it was it was Pedro Spero. and I really want to talk about Pedro Spero here for a second, okay, guys? Okay, like for instance, the concept of Pedro Spero's devil fruit, like when when I saw it being used against Chopper, it reminded me a lot of Mister uh, of Mister Three uh, Mister Three's wax wax fruit all the way back in the in the um. In, in, in the in the Alabast arc, because when in the Alabast saga, when Mister Three was encasing Zoro, I mean Vivi, in his in his wax in his wax can in his wax wax cake or wax candle cake or whatever, but uh, yeah, Petrospero's like Petrospero's whole thing is Petrospero's whole freaking freaking devil fruit concept, like the core concept of his devil fruit. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of Mister Three's wax wax fruit because he's although with the added benefit of I guess although I guess in Petrospero's case, the added benefit is he gets to eat his, eat his freaking, eat his goddamn victims after he's frozen them in, in candy or whatnot, and that is just fucked up. Like, seriously, fucked up, Petro, you are fucked up. And, like, Petrospero himself, okay. Honestly, like, this, this whole chapter, like, the one thing I can take away from it is that Petrospero really kind of surprised me in a way, because, like, don't get me wrong, I know Petrospero is a threat because he's j just from the fact that he's one of Big Mom's children already, already uh, kind of cements him as being one, one one of the top heavy hitters of Big Mom's crew or whatnot. So th there was that, of course. But like just seeing how much of a roadblock and Petros roadblock and threat that Petrospero was in this chapter, it really made me like it really surprised it really surprised me how like how powerful this man this man really truly was. Like he was he was stopping like even. Like, bef like, bef like, of course, before, in the end, e even before, like, uh, more, even before, uh, even before, even before, even before, even before, it was Pedro who, who blew himself up to stop Pedro Spero, even before that happened, like, even before that happened in the end, like, it was like, like Pedro Spero proved to be such a fucking badass that like he, he was he was stopping the straw hats at every which way he possibly could, every which way he possibly could in order to in order to help Big Mom out and like and it took like I said it took Pedro blowing him doing a doing a suicide bomber thing in order to stop Pedro Spero. That is just proof for like again, 
like I know it's been said time and time again, but Pedro Espinosa like just really really surprised me with how much he was he was he was he, he managed to be a roadblock for the straws in this chapter. And like the, I think the thing is like I was expecting it, it was I was expecting I was expecting in this chapter considering he was going up against Dogtooth, I expected Dogtooth to be more of a roadblock, and he probably still will be. But Pedro Espinosa he he took the he took the cake in this chapter. He was just like. Just hey, yeah, I'm I'm gonna show how much of a boss I am and how much I can stop, which I can prove to be robot for for you, Straw Hats. So, yeah, Pedro Spero, you uh, like he he really surprised really surprised me with how much of a roadblock he was for the Straw Hats in this one. And he uses the freaking lick lick like candy candy fruit or whatnot. So, yeah, like whoa, <laughs> that's the uh, that's that's nuts. <laughs> that really is nuts. Uh, but yeah, and uh, but yeah. Pe- Pedro Espero, he, he proved he proved just how much of a threat he could be to me. So, yeah. Also, one... Now, Pedro Espero was like, because, yeah, that shit was, of course, epic. But, Pedro, when... Even before, even before Pedro ended up doing the whole suicide bomber thing, Pedro said something to Carrot that really got me thinking. Pedro told Carrot about how... Basically, like, he went this whole thing about how... Pedro said to Carrot how the Straw Hats are the ones that the Minx and the Kozuki clan have been waiting for hundreds of years for. How the, how the, how the Minx and the Kozuki clan have been waiting for hundreds of years for someone to reign in a new dawn on this great pirate era. And Pedro, at that point, even before he blew himself up, he was putting all his fucking faith in, in the Straw Hats. And that makes me think that... Carrot may in fact join the crew, but not maybe as a full fledged member. Like, I get the feeling how. <coughs> like, this is, this is all just a theory on my part, so you can take what I say with a grain of salt. But, I get the feeling almost that, like, like the, the, the Minx and the Kozuki clan are each going to choose a representative for them to. in order to travel with on the Straw Hats crew. All the way to all the way to the end of the Grand Line, in very much the same way that o- Ode that that the Lord Odin did for for Roger. So, I think from what the, from the way it's playing out so far, I think Carrot is going to be the from the way from the way Pedro was talking to Carrot and whatnot. I believe Carrot is going to be the Minx is going to be the Minx um is going to be the Minx representative to the Straw Hat crew, and the Kozuki clan representative. Like I don't think they're going to. Ge- I don't think a Kozuki clan representative is going to be chosen until this whole business with Kaido is dealt with. But if a Kozuki clan mem if a Kozuki clan member is chosen, uh, I I want to say it is going to be freaking. I want to say it is going to be, it is going to be uh, mom. M- m- is gonna be Momo mo- 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 at the. Is gonna be. Is gonna be. Uh, the. It's gonna be Momo. Mo- 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 I believe, but it's gonna be Momo. Mo- but uh, it's gonna be. It's gonna, it is gonna be Momo. Mo- but at the same time, he is. He's an important figure. So, I. I, I don't. I'm not a hundred percent certain that it's gonna be that Momo is gonna is gonna join the crew as a, as a Kozuki clan representative. But if there are any other members of the Kozuki clan. If we get introduced to any other members of the Kozuki clan, I bet there is going to, I bet they are going to, I bet the Kozuki clan is going to join a represent, the the Momo is going to choose a representative of the Kozuki clan in order to join the Straw Hats, I believe, at that point. But, and, and, and it is weird, like, and, but, or maybe Momo will join because, like, the thing, it's a little weird because on one hand, yeah, Momo might be the ideal choice to join them because he has, because he actually has the knowledge. He probably has the knowledge and the and the and the ability to in order to read them, but I I don't know if at the same time I think Oda is building up that, that Luffy also has the has the ability to hear to hear the voice of all things like Roger I believe so we'll, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see I guess as to as to who as to the Kozuki clan representative is going to be, but um. But, yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I have for this review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, or follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Death Knight of Anime, signing off. Later, guys.